I want to get you a closer look at some of the other headlines we're following for you on this Monday morning. Betty Wynn is standing by at the news desk. Good morning. Good morning, Eric and Jeff, and good morning to you. Persistent wind-driven wildfires that refuse to die have forced more evacuation. More hot and windy weather is expected in the south, and that is also expected to hamper firefighting efforts this morning. The head of the International Atomic Energy Agency is calling for safety checks on every nuclear reactor in the world within 18 months. The IAEA is... Also this morning, Syrian President Bashar al-Assad blamed saboteurs for the political unrest in his country. He also hinted at constitutional reform and urged those who had fled the government crackdown to return. CBS News course. All right, CBS's Wyatt Andrews on the Syrian-Turkish border. Thank you, Wyatt. Now, here's Erica. Betty, thanks. Japanese video game developer Sega announced on Sunday that hackers broke into its database and stole personal information from more than a million customers. It is the latest in a string of cyber attacks on corporations, government contractors, even the CIA. As CBS News correspondent Elaine Quijano reports. Marisol Castro joining us now with another check of the weather for you. Just about 11 minutes past the hour. Good morning again. Good morning, Erica. Good morning, everyone at home. We turn to the southwest where it continues to be dry, it continues to be windy, but the wind is coming out of the northwest and it's actually a cool wind. So these temperatures are a lot cooler than we see it in the past couple of days in the 80s and 90s as opposed to the 90s and the 100s. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of precipitation in sight. The winds do diminish by tomorrow to about 5 to 15 miles per hour. An area that doesn't need any rain, unfortunately, is going to get just a little bit forward today and I'm talking about the area around the Missouri and Mississippi River. The uh, precipitation will be nominal but again it's not going to help uh, the cleanup efforts whatsoever and we'll continue keeping an eye on it for you. That's a look at the weather across the nation. Now let's see what's happening outside your window. Thanks so much. That's your latest weather. Now here's Jeff. Maddie, thanks. Interesting how they still make it look like you're putting gas in your car, but yeah, even though yeah. it's a charge. Yeah, fooling you a little bit. I think maybe the key is when, when, when they get to the point where a full charge gets you a, a full tank of gas, like a, like a two in or terms three of mileage. or 400 mile trip. Yeah, because when we heard, oh, you know, now this one can go up to 150 miles, really not that far for people who are used to going. If you're, if you're taking a long drive, going on a trip, whatever else. Yeah. All right. So let us know when you have that worked out. <laughs> Betty Wynn standing by at the news desk now. <laughs> Betty, Such a good get to work. Day. Yeah, exactly. Come on, Betty, get on it. <laughs> I'll work on that. In the meantime, though, I do have a warning for you for parents and grandparents whose kids play in portable pools. They can be deadly. According to the first Nilla, hmm, sounds good even at this hour. Well, a new Miss USA was crowned last night in Las Vegas. 21-year-old awards. There has never been a Hollywood star quite like the late Marilyn Monroe. And even point six million dollars. That is some chump change right there. All right. Well, we're going to get you something that is free this morning, and that's a check of the weather with Marisol. Good morning. Good morning, Betty. Good morning, everyone at home. We'll show you the national picture, and you can see there is a big swath of thunderstorms, and within that swath, there is severe weather. We're looking at hail, rain, and the possibility of a tornado in and around the Dakotas, Nebraska, and Kansas. That starts in the afternoon hours, goes well into the overnight hours. But we turn to the south, where the heat, some of these folks have been feeling this heat since May 20th. Today, is no different. Tomorrow will be no different. Take, take a look at Dallas, 99, San Antonio, 101. Even Columbus, 103, and maybe a pop-up shower later on this afternoon. It's also going to be very sticky because uh, the Gulf moisture is just seeping through. Uh, so it's just going to be really uncomfortable. Of course, there are some heat advisories. Completely different story on the West Coast. Light winds, beautiful temperatures, 80 in San Francisco, 89 in Medford. That's well above normal, but it's just going to be a banner day, so take advantage of it if you can. That's a look at the weather across the nation. Now let's what's happening outside your window. Thanks so much. That's your latest weather now. Here's Erica. Mighty thanks. Millions of baby boomers will soon be caring for their parents, but a new survey suggests they're not ready. Half of the boomers... So special contributor Isla Brown sat down with her for a revealing conversation. Good morning. Yes, Good to see I you. Yes, I did. Good to see you, too. Thank you. Anyone who's listened to the radio over the last half century knows her songs, classic like Midnight Train to Georgia and I Heard It Through the Grapevine, but it was a very amazing privilege for me to chat down with this legendary performer. Fantastic. Brown feeder. I, I like know. it. I like it. It's got a nice ring to it. Thank you. What a fantastic story, though. She seems like such a warm, approachable, just sort of lovely person to chat with. And she's this big star. Yes. And you would never know it. She's the most down to earth person I've ever met. And her favorite that it would be this really um, kind of hoity toity restaurant. But it's not. It's a pita mm -hmm. restaurant. What kind of pita does she like? She likes a chicken kebab. 
Interesting. I know. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, wrong. Just like you, chicken kebab every day after the show. Jeff Moore <laughs> yeah. And those pita. Chicken kebab pita at 9 a.m. <laughs> Nothing beats it. It is the lunch breakfast of champions. That was very cool. Thank you. Thank you very much for bringing that to us. Yeah. We'll have to try to check out the show. A little, uh, little field trip. I think we should. I think a Vegas little, uh, a little trip to Vegas, and then we won't be able to tell you about it because what happens there stays there. Ex <laughs> continued success in Nashville as well. Thank yes. you very much. Yeah. Have a great day, everyone. Your local news is next.